on, Sonny. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> Are you kidding? Me? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, dude, that was mega. <laughs> we nailed it, bro. Yeah. Oh. Oh, right. It was so bumpy through that crack. Yay! Okay. <laughs> That was good times, bro. Super good times. Oh. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> bro. Bro, I heard I heard an impact. I heard an impact. No, I heard an impact. Yeah, it was an impact. I heard it. Fuck, dude. Fuck! Oh, no. Fuck! Fuck! No. Fuck, man! No. 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 Fuck! Fuck! Yeah, it's um, it's not um, it's not the easiest easiest situation. Now it's been two days since uh, since the accident, and uh, it was yeah obviously a really really sad and horrible ending to uh, such an amazing trip and and such a nice adventure with these guys. Um, and getting to know Angelo and really connecting with him as a jumper, as a, as a human, he was such a nice guy with so much interesting stuff going on in his life. And yeah, it's one of those, like really makes you reflect on the whole situation a little bit. I mean, we, we have, we have experienced this for so many times, but there's always something when it happens so closely and more or less right in front of your face that really makes you uh, reflect on it in a, in a much deeper way uh, and I think for example the fact that we were here to do this event and to spread this joy to the Saudi Arabian people and to to really show you know what our sport is all about and uh, and, and how unique it is for for, for the audience to be able to witness this, flying close to them and, and, and make them very excited about it. It's, um, it's worse because if, if we have these accidents while we're just flying for the fun of it with ourselves, with our friends, we, we can handle it. We can, we can accept it and, and, and it's a bit easier to, to digest. But when it happens on an event, um, in front of people, uh, obviously it didn't happen right where the people were and thankfully no one actually saw it, but the people who are still looking at it, they're, they're witnessing it and they realize later that one person is dead and, and it does something to them. It does something to the, the organizers and, and the people that, uh, who was enjoying what we were doing. And on top of that, when someone who is very, um, a genuine soul and someone who is very nice ends up in this situation, it's of course really, really, really sad. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was supposed to be just a bonus jump. It was not even a jump that was originally planned. Uh, a lot of incidents led to, to that particular thing being a jump because of the day before when the, the clouds were rolling in the helicopter was forced to stay uh, overnight and because of that we ended up getting an opportunity to do this jump the next day and the conditions were perfect and and uh, and everything was you know in front of us to to make this a spectacular jump but a safe one an easy one the, the, the days or the, the, the event is over for us. We don't have to perform We we can only do what we call a fun jump, a completely normal fun jump, easy, safe, land, high fives, be super stoked about the fact that we 
had the opportunity to come here and enjoy and get to know each other. Uh, I didn't know Angelo from before and, um, and I really enjoyed getting to know him and listening to uh, all the stuff he's doing with his jetpack stuff and, and, and all the interesting things that uh, he is also doing for the sport of, of human flight. And it was very inspirational to, to see what he's doing and, um, and to, to be included in that and to, to also plan future fun stuff together and, and also introduce him, his stuff more in the vlog and maybe come and join him for some of these jetpack flights. And, uh, and to me, you know, it's like this one thing of knowing that, uh, I have, um, uh, encourage people in the past to fly these proximity lines and, and to, to have them, uh, be engaged in this sort of activity and especially, uh, with dream lines. And I know that Angelo was, uh, was a big fan of that, uh, movie from the past. And the moment before we went into to the chopper, we, he wanted to make this joke with me about like, you know, let's, uh, let, let's recreate the dream lines in a way. And, um, and to me, it's, it, it affects me in a, in a, in a very heavy way because yeah, what can you say? Like, you know, that obviously it's not our fault, but whatever we have done in the past is, uh, for the person who is now experiencing it firsthand, they're just as excited as I, as I was back then. And, and I had my share of close calls and, and. Uh, realizations that I need to pull back from the terrain and, and fly much safer to be able to sustain this in the long run. And it's, it's super sad when, when someone gets really carried away and, and super excited and we have all these perfect conditions lined up and we get this bonus jump and then 10, literally not even 10 seconds, three seconds before the line is over and you're supposed to pull your parachute safely, land safely, give all your brothers a big hug and celebrate the fact that, yeah, that we had this amazing adventure shared uh, among us. This incident happens. Um, and of course, you know, for the organizers, it's really sad because, uh, you know, they, they feel their part of it as well. And obviously not their fault at all. No one's fault, really. It's only our own faults as, as pilots, the choice we make in free fall and the choice we make, um, we make together as a team is what, uh, brings the results on the table. So of course, uh, but still, you know, it's, it's the, it's that horrible feeling, the horrible feeling when, when you hear the sound or for Luca that actually saw it firsthand. Um, it's, it's not, uh, a pleasant thing. And unfortunately it's, a, it's actually a big part of our sport, but when it comes to events and, and doing this publicly, it should never be occurring. It should never be even uh, a risk of it happening because we are always supposed to fly on, uh, on good margins, 80%, 70%. Every time there is uh, in front of people an audience, it should never be pushed to the limits. But when we're in free fall, uh, sometimes we get carried away and, and we fly the lines and, and we fly them super technical and, and uh, that choice is being made. And in this case, that choice led to, to the fatality. Uh, and of course, there is nothing we can do about it now other than go home and, uh, and reflect and, uh, and move on and, uh, make safer and better decisions and, and make sure that those of you who are ending up in these situation and, and get these opportunities to, to fly in public, uh, public spaces and, and do, do shows, just please take it, take it 20% less than what you will feel comfortable with and, uh, and, and, and it, it will be fine. And in Angela's case, he was, he was a great flyer. He was an amazing person. Most of all, like really genuine. I, I super enjoyed his presence and, and that's why I get super affected by this because obviously I didn't know him and I, I didn't know him well, 
but one week of getting to know someone that genuine is enough to to create uh, a painful experience um and um and, and make you reflect on you know how could we have done to change it was there anything we could have done maybe it wasn't we, we don't know you know it's like it's always the same story when there is an accident we we look back and we re we reflect and we realize oh, okay we could have done this we could have done that but at the end of the day it wasn't much we could have done he's the pilot he's in charge so so yeah now uh, we're here in um, dubai it's two days after now it's the first time we turn on the camera again um and we are on the way home actually and alex is sitting over here he's constantly editing uh, even though these accidents happen and and everything we still don't stop to create it's it's a hard thing actually because uh, it doesn't feel right in a sense to keep creating and to just keep pushing and pushing and producing content and it actually felt good to turn off the cameras for a couple of days but um, as we are fully committed to this mission to create these episodes to create these vlogs three days a week for a year two years three years who knows at least one year um, and see where it goes then even though we had this incident it's uh, it's impossible to stop it and and that's why we want to actually share a little bit of the honesty behind it and not create some sort of uh yeah fake thing around it and be like yeah, yeah nothing happened everything is high fives and good vibes and yeah and, and always show just the good side of the sport because it's not the truth and i think like it's good to show a little bit of the honesty and uh, and uh, even though also Alex is very affected by it, he still is doing an amazing job editing, creating, creating. And I'm sure you guys will eventually appreciate all of the hard work he's doing. But Alex, I also think that maybe we should uh, take a little break and enjoy a little bit of the beauty and the moment of being in the present and maybe go down to the beach. I don't know. It's, um, it's a beautiful day here in Dubai. It's very warm. 40 degrees, heavy. Yeah, Alex, now we're gonna chill a little bit. We deserve that now after, after a crazy week. And you see, it's like, it's even uh, birds from the Amazon and whatnot, you know? It's like being in tropical, uh, it's like a little oasis in uh, the middle of nowhere. We just boarded the aircraft, finally on the way to Norway. It's been, yeah, it's been a good trip as well. Uh, obviously not the best ending, but uh, it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be very nice to come back to Norway and enjoy a little bit of the Norwegian mountains and uh, yeah, experience a little bit of the big walls again. I haven't gotten to jump much of that this season. And I think also for, uh, for Alex, that is gonna do uh, some, yeah, like he hasn't done base jumps in a year, I think. So it's gonna be uh, hopefully some nerves there for him as well. Now I'm sure, as I know him right, we haven't even taken off yet, and he's 100% already doing it. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. Thank you. Like, yeah, there you see. <laughs> Always Thank you. editing. Always working, aren't you, Alex? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so with him, he, he never stops. He never stops. Mm -hmm. Good evening, gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Thank Would you. you like the menu? Yes. yes. Would you like to see the wine list as no. well? Only no, the only the menu. You're all right? Okay, here you are, sir. You. <laughs> Are you on the wine list, no? Sorry? Are you on the wine list, no? <laughs> no wine. <right. laughs> Alex is a good boy. He doesn't even drink, even when he's flying first class. But he deserves to uh, have a little bit of orange juice at least. He's being such a good boy, working so hard, and I'm honestly really proud of him. And if it wasn't for having him on this team, I would never ever do this project. Like, without a doubt, he's the only guy I will do it. So, hopefully, to see you guys in Norway. Yeah, I'm uh, Dr. Angelo Grubzic, and I'm. Uh, I'm a lecturer of astronautics when I'm not doing this, uh, when I'm base jumping or flying jet suits. Incredible. We're going to try to get a couple of words with Angelo. In fact, we're going to come in and get a couple of words with the man himself, Angelo. Wow. I mean, that is all we can really say. That was incredible. That's uh, pioneering human flight right there. 1,050 horsepower, harnessed uh, using everything that we're given at birth. You make it sound so simple. Last question, because I know lots of people want to meet you as well. When you're hovering out there so still, how much are you having to put into it? How much is your body having to work? It's probably a very ridiculous question. It's kind of like riding a bicycle. You know, a lot of people say, how do, you, how do you steer it? How do you ride a bicycle? It becomes the ultimate amalgamation of mind and, and machine. When, when you're part of the machine, you know, it's, uh, you are part of that control system and you just think, you think, I want to go over there and you figure it out. Off. Angelo, thank you so much. That was incredible from you guys in the Gravity team. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. So I've been here for the last um, uh, say five, five, six days now, and uh, we brought a team together from all across the world, Australia uh, and uh, Italy, and we're, we're opening some amazing lines here. So this area has not been jumped at all in the past. You've got to be really uh, top of your game, and uh, it's been super fun. You know, um, we've learned a lot. Uh, we're getting really tight as a team, doing a combination of base jumps like we did, did this morning uh, on some super tight lines and then uh, flybys from a Black Hawk helicopter, which uh, I'm told is one of the most advanced Black Hawk helicopters there is. So it's been uh, really uh, a privilege to be here. Beautiful flight. You! Oh my awesome. god. Saudi Arabia! 